Four years ago, so my freshman year of high school, me and my friend were sitting, waiting for our Eco Club meeting to start when she was showing me her latest shopping haul. I got these from Sheen, she said. I know it's bad for the environment, but I don't really care. I was shocked. For context, we were literally in the middle of an Eco Club meeting, campaigning against fast fashion and fast fashion brands like Sheen, and she, she was proudly showing off her latest shopping haul from that exact brand. For a little bit of context, fast fashion is a concept where brands pump out a lot of low quality clothes at a really high rate, which creates a lot of waste and pollution, and is generally really bad for the environment. I was so confused. How could she do this? To make matters worse, she continued. It's not like what we're doing really matters anyway. I felt like I was punched in the gut. My entire world shifted 180 degrees. This was my closest friend. And if she felt this way, then what did everybody else think? I was so shocked. But at the moment, I laughed it off and changed the subject. However, that moment stuck in my head all day long. Later that night in bed, I was ruminating on what had occurred earlier that day. And I realized something. It wasn't that she didn't care about the environment. It wasn't that she didn't care. It was that she was told that whatever she did wouldn't matter. That every climate action she took just wouldn't amount to anything in the end. And it's not just her feeling this way. So many youth across the country, across the world, feel the exact same way that she did. The climate misinformation, lack of information, and general climate doomism in the media gives way to climate anxiety in youth. Youth are faced with this outlook that nothing we do can create change and can change the future. Youth care about the climate crisis but they lack the tools and resources to act. And this is why climate education is so important. With climate education, students will be able to feel empowered to act and to lead. With climate education, students will get real facts, real knowledge, and will be able to think of the climate crisis with a solution-based mindset, which creates prepared adults for the future. Climate education, however, is not really taught in schools, which is why two high schoolers in Illinois cre created the Illinois Climate Education Bill. The Illinois Climate Education Bill is essentially a policy that says climate education must be taught in all K-12 schools in the state of Illinois. This bill was campaigned for by groups like It's Our Future, Climate Education for Illinois, and Subject to Climate which are all groups that I'm part of. Me and my peers advocated for this bill and we got this bill passed. And now in all schools, K-12, across the state of Illinois, climate education must be taught. Climate education is such an important matter. Then why is it not being taught in classrooms? Well, there's a number of reasons. One is low teachers' confidence. Climate change is a vast subject. It's overwhelming, and it's hard for anybody to feel like they have a grasp of what's going on. Teachers are no exception. Teachers feel like they're not properly equipped and trained to teach climate, the climate crisis and to teach about climate change to their students. Another reason is a lack of time and resources. Teachers already struggle to fit in what, uh, the content for the grade into the one school year. They feel like t having to put in climate change and teaching about the climate crisis and making a whole new lesson plan for the climate crisis is a strain on them. It's hard to fit in a whole new subject and make a whole new unit just for climate change.
And a lot of teachers also believe it doesn't fit into their subject, it doesn't fit into their curriculum. It's math teachers feel like it's a science subject, it's a social studies subject. World language teachers don't even think about teaching climate change. And it is also a controversial subject. Like I mentioned before, the climate crisis re creates lots of climate anxiety and climate apathy in youth. And teachers don't want to see that in their classrooms. They fear that if they teach the climate crisis wrong, then they will perpetuate negativity in their classrooms, which they don't want. However, the climate crisis still must be taught in schools. And to address this, Subject to Climate has put together the Illinois Climate Education Hub, which is a free, accessible resource for teachers to use to teach climate education in their schools and classrooms. The hub is put together by climate experts who put reliable knowledge that focuses on solutions and progress. It's put together by teachers who know how hard it is to make lesson plans and to fit everything into a school curriculum. And it's made by students. It's made by me. I, may, I put in resources and knowledge, uh, knowledge and created lesson plans on this hub. It's made for students by students so that students will feel empowered with the lesson plans that are in this hub. The hub is also easy to use and accessible for all. And what I mean by all is that it covers all age ranges, all grades, K to 12, and it also has all subjects. So if you're a Spanish teacher, you can teach climate education in your classroom with the Illinois Climate Education Hub. With the Climate Education Hub, we will create classrooms where climate education is the foundation. Youth will be empowered to lead and they'll become prepared adults who know how to tackle the climate crisis. So I ask you, act now. Uplift youth voices by prioritizing climate education. For teachers, use the hub. It's a free accessible resource for you to bring climate education to your classrooms. For students, ask your teachers to use the hub. Again, it's a free, easy to use resource. And through, by using the hub, through the lesson plans in the hub, you will ensure that you get the climate education that you need. And for everyone else who support clim uh, youth getting climate education, look into your local schools and look into youth campaigns for climate education and support them, reach out to them. The sky's the limit when we start with knowledge and the key to a healthy, livable future is, begins in the classroom. Thank you.